Welcome to ITM's video about the history and technology of Standard Electric Time Company's master clocks. Connecticut was the clock-making capital of the world, and in Waterbury, Connecticut, Charles Warner invented the first electric clock. Once a minute, it used electricity to both wind the clock as well as advanced slave clocks attached to it. All the clocks throughout the building would have the same precise time of day. In 1897, George Riggs bought the company for $6,000 and in 1911 moved it to Springfield, Massachusetts, also the home of basketball and Indian motorcycles. They opened their factory in 1911 and went on to become the largest producer of master clocks in the industrial age. This early master clock was 80 beats per minute and had one pilot clock that would monitor the slave clocks attached to it. But it wasn't long before the larger, more accurate 60 beat per minute clocks became the industry standard. At the heart of the 60 beat standard electric master clock is a movement that looks very much like this, with coils at the bottom that perform the winding once a minute. This master clock from Utica High School synchronized up to 50 wall clocks. Although rare, standard electric also made weight driven master clocks like this one. Once every 24 hours, it would turn on an electric motor, rewind the weights to the top, and then shut itself off, ready for another 24-hour cycle. You can tell the relative age of a clock by the style of its print. It's also interesting to watch the chronology of the dial faces and how they changed over time, with most dials being available in Arabic or in Roman numerals. Early clock cases were square. That gave way to the rounded arch top. Early 60-beat clocks had a raised framing on the door and then evolved to a flush door. And finally, a square dial and case for the mid-century clock. Pendulum evolution included materials such as liquid mercury to improve the accuracy of the pendulums, as well as other design changes throughout the 50 years of their use. Standard Electric also made a variety of dials and meters for inside their cases, but the most prominent is the pilot dial, which controlled the slave clocks attached to it throughout the building. The punch paper tape program machine allowed for the user to set times to ring the classroom bells to signal the start and end of school and classes, and a more modern program machine by Standard Electric. Standard Electric, one of the prettiest master clocks available in its day, but it was actually the largest market share owner as well, as it was at a good price point and very popular in the public sector. There were countless students and employees that had a Standard Electric master clock at the heart of the time system that set the pace for their day. Check out ITM's other two dozen videos on YouTube that explore the history as well as the technology of these century-old masterpieces. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. My mind is going. I can feel it.